Welcome back everybody, Twitch367 here, and today we're going to continue with episode 58 of our Pokemon Violet series here on the channel. Once again, if you guys want to interact with me or any of the other members of the Discord, take a peek at the Discord link in the description. While you're down in the description, take a peek at all the other social media links, including the 10% off W link. It helps me out, it helps out the company, and it's a great thing to do. Uh, that being said, we're going to go ahead and just kind of follow this. A mysterious child is staring at you from behind their mask. That's a cool mask. Hey Twitch, listen to this. It's nuts. Kiki's so used to uh Kiki's no use at all. Zero talent for outs and ogres. I'm telling you. Hey, who is that? Wait, Twitch, you shouldn't run off on your own. Hey, new kid, that goes for you too. <laughs> you should come back. The mountain's dangerous at night. <laughs> Who was that? Where'd that kid come from? I don't think it was it a Pokemon. What are you talking about? Wait, do you mean that kid we just saw? They ran off toward the mountain. Could that have been the ogre from the story on all the signboards? Are you saying the story was true? I mean, they did drop a mask, so they really must be. Twitch, sis. What are you guys doing over here? Oh, we just bumped into the ogre. Hey, wait, stop, stop, stop. What? What are you yelling? Why are you all? Why are you yelling all of a sudden, sis? It's nothing. It's nothing you'd be interested in at all. I swear. Huh? Oh, I get it. I bet you were making fun of me behind my back. I'm just gonna head back to the festival. Whew, at least he didn't figure out what we were really talking about. Don't scare me like that. Blabbing for the whole world to hear? Don't you have any filter? See, Kiki really likes the ogre. Like, really, really, really likes it. So if he found out we'd just seen the ogre, uh, without him, I guess I was afraid he'd feel bad, you know? Feel left out or something. Am I overthinking it? Besides... I don't I didn't want him running up the mountain to follow the ogre at this hour either. Well, in any case, we already lied about it and that's that. Let's keep this whole thing our little secret, okay? And maybe hold off on showing Kiki that mask you just picked up too. Aye aye. Okay, at the bottom of the stairs there. So I'm using a different controller so the buttons are actually flipped on this one. 
So, prepare for that quite a bit. Had enough of the festival? Yes. Well then, guess we should head home. I'll walk you back to the community center. Don't we still have another sign as well? There you are, Twitch. Just because we didn't agree to meet doesn't mean you get to keep me waiting. So, uh, you see, I wanted to talk to you a bit. You haven't told anybody about the, you know, the thing that happened yesterday, right? No, I haven't. You better not be lying. If I found out you blabbed, I'm gonna make you swallow a coughing hole. Wow, that's impressive. You still have that thing we picked up at the stairs, right? My grandpa knows a lot about the village's history. We should go talk to him about what happened yesterday. You know where my house is, right? See you there. Don't keep me waiting. Let's show grandpa the, you know, the thing we found. Okay, easy. Easy. Good morning to you, Twitch. Hey, Twitch. Good morning. Sh he's awake, huh? Want to go see the last signboard? Kiki, go find some place else to be. Twitch has got business with me. Seriously? He's spending all his time with you. That's so unfair. You could be such a jerk. Would you just call me? What's his deal? Kiki should know better than to talk back to me like that. That's enough, Carmen. Be kind to your younger brother. I was being kind. It's not like I hit him or anything. Anyway, we've got more important things to discuss. Right, Twitch? Come on, you gotta show Grandpa that thing you have. Show my roto stick. <laughs> Could this be? This mask. It belongs to that poor ogre. Where did you find this? We bumped into it. The ogre, I mean. Yesterday at the Festival of Masks. I tried talking to it all nice and everything, but it dropped the mask, and yeah. I never would have thought that the ogre would still be gracing our festival with its presence. Huh? Did you say... What do you mean, still? I thought the ogre was a scoundrel that attacked the village. I suppose it's time I told you, Carmen. You see, the truth of what happened was that ogre... Uh, with that ogre is the other way around. The other way around? What do you mean? You should hear this too, Twitch. You also met the poor ogre. Or... Organ spawn. Or... or ogre spawn? Ogre pawn? Uh, as it's rightly named. Let me tell you the true story, as passed down through our family for generations. This is all going to be a little bit of a long story to tell. Is that alright? Yes. This story has been passed down in our family by 
Word of mouth. I learned it from my father. Uh, it's a story of truths. A story that must never be told to the rest of the village. You must never speak of it to others. Okay. I'm gonna, oh, I can actually read this. A long, long time ago, a man and an ogre came to Kitakami from a foreign land. The people of the village feared the man and the ogre who looked so different from them. And so they refused to let the travelers come anywhere near the village. The man and the ogre were saddened that the villagers did not welcome them. But they were happy just to have each other. They settled quietly in a cave on the mountain. There was only one villager who pitied the two travelers. The village mask maker. He made several masks for the man and the ogre. The masks were brilliant works. Adorned with gems the man brought from somewhere far away. By wearing these masks, the traveler could hide their true faces and mingle with the villagers. The man and the ogre were overjoyed. They thanked the mask maker for his kindness. Wearing the mask, the man and the ogre started secretly joining the village festival. The mysterious pair soon became the talk of the village because of their brilliant masks. In fact, rumors about them quickly spread far and wide, even to distant lands. But rumors of exquisites, uh, shining masks attract more than just innocent curiosity. A group of greedy Pokemon soon made their way to the land of Kitakami. These Pokemon sneaked into the cave in which the man and the ogre lived and tried to make off with the masks, which were carefully stored away. The man happened to be there. He managed to hold on to one of the masks. But he was not strong enough to protect them all. The Pokemon stole the other three masks. Several hours later, when the ogre returned to the cave, it found its beloved home in ruin. All that was left were the signs of a struggle and a teal mask. The ogre donned the mask and went down to the village, perhaps to search for his friend. It found the greedy Pokemon there, gloating over their stolen mask and defeated them. The villagers, of course, had no idea what was happening nor why. All they saw was the raging ogre, and they felt great fear. The villagers thought the three Pokemon had fallen trying to protect the village from the ogre. To honor their sacrifice, the villagers named them the Loyal Three and, it, and entered them with care. Wounded and weak, the ogre returned to its cave, alone with the great sadness. That's terrible. Ogre Pond didn't deserve that, and the loyal three, they're the worst. <clears throat> the story everyone's been told is the, the complete opposite of the truth. They gotta hear about this. Calm yourself, Carmen. I told you already to keep it to yourself. But Grandpa, the villagers believe their own version of history. They revere <coughs> the loyal three, so how would they react to being told they've got it all wrong? They'd probably get angry. Exactly. 
Back when this fate first occurred, the mask maker, that is to say, our ancestor, uh, tried desperately to tell the truth of the matter. But nobody would take him seriously. In fact, it said he was uh, prosecuted as... Uh, I gotta take a drink real quick. Shoot. <coughs> Sorry, my throat was getting scratchy. Oh, that really gets my blood boiling. In the end, the mask maker chose to protect his descendants, us, by keeping his mouth shut. However, he kept the truth alive, passed down from generation to generation as a family secret. I see. Kiki doesn't know the whole story yet, does he? He shouldn't, no. I certainly never spoke to him about it. Why do you ask? I don't know, he just really seems to like the ogre. He's practically obsessed. And he's been trying to one-up me, as if he knows more about Ogre Pond than I do. Well, I can't say what's going on with that boy, but he always was a sensitive child. It wouldn't surprise me if he somehow intuited the truth. I promise to tell Kieran the whole story when the time is right. Until then, take care. Take care not to breathe a word of the truth to anybody. Okay, Grandpa. Now I really can't tell Kiki we met the ogre. About the mask you showed me. I noticed the jewel on its forehead was chipped. I might be able to fix it. Would you mind leaving the mask with me for a little while? Oh, huh. Maybe it got chipped when it fell down the stairs. Since Grandpa's offering... Let's get it all nice and fixed up before we give it back to Ogre Pond. What if I didn't want to give it away? Don't you worry. I'll be sure to take good care of this. Like, that was my mask now. I was told I can get a mask at the festival. That was the mask I got. And of course, now it's, uh... He heard all of it. I want to see Ogre Pond again, but getting its mask fixed will have to come first. For now, we should carry on with the orienteering before Kiki gets suspicious. I bet we'll find Kiki just killing time somewhere in town. Oh, uh, hey Twitch. So, I was gonna ask, what were you and my sis just, uh, talking about? This and that, I guess. Oh, I see. So, about those signs. The last one's a bit of a hike away. It's in the Paradise Barrens on the other, other side of Oni Mountain. We'll need to head over the mountain and uh, down towards the northwest. You go on ahead. I'll catch up. <clears throat> Why? Why'd you lie to me? Where is this over here? So would it make more sense to go out this other way and yes. I didn't like that we had to lie to him either.
spinner X, you're so cool. This is the way I want to go. You know, I have yet to explore all of Kitakami yet, so I don't know what's all even available. There's more Pico. This area looks... have a grubbin yet. Electro ball is good. So many items. Ooh, Thunder Punch. Ah, oh, Shinx. Ooh, a comet shard.
Sand true. I love sand true. Like they literally just like salted this with random items. Looks like the final signs right there. Crap, like I can't help it. I just need to grab. These are the Paradise Barrens. Pretty lonely place, huh? According to the old legends, the ogre used to be seen around here lots. Hey, before we check out the sign, could you battle me? Let's do it. If I would have known this battle, I would have held off. Okay, let me heal up your Pokemon. This time, I'll win. We'll see about that. Oh, it was Polyrath. Not quite. be able to knock him out. Uh, right, found my shell bell. Tidy up.
Oh yeah. I lost. It's because I'm weak. That's why I... We should go check out the sign. Come on. Let's get this over with. If you see a shadowy figure approaching you outside the village at twilight, be wary. Don a mask at once and hide your face. Do so and whether the shadow is man or monster, you will pass each other by as fellow mask wearers. If you should meet the shadow, the shadow when you have no mask in hand, then pray that it's only a man. If it is, you will live to see another day and you will remember to never forget your mask again. But if it is the ogre, you'll meet your end, as do all humans who face, whose faces are seen by it. Once it sees your face, your soul will be forfeit, and you shall never return to the village. In the old days, everyone carried masks everywhere they went, and the one who made those masks was actually my great-great-great-grandpa's great-great-great-grandpa or something. I mean, I don't think any of that stuff about the ogre stealing souls is true or anything, but it is true that our family used to make masks. Our family has a long line of mask, has a long line of mask makers. Even my gramps can make them. I even heard that the reason we hold the festival of masks is because our ancestors came up with the idea. But I don't like what they wrote on the sign here. Just because the ogre seemed sort of scary, everyone got all afraid of it and drove it away from the village. But I'm pretty sure the ogre must have been lonely on its own. Left all alone like that. Treated like some kind of outcast. You're right. You think so too, huh, Twitch? Wanna take the last photo? Well, we'll we're all done with our assignment now. But I've gotta get stronger with my Pokemon. I'm gonna head home. All right, and with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you have not already. Next episode, we're just going to continue along and uh, see where else the story takes us. But with that, hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.